Hey, what's up everybody? It's Matt from Rocky's War Room. And today I have another Let's Build video for you. This time we have the Isaurian Namek Light Support Drone. I hope I'm saying that correctly. Nahamek, Nahamek maybe? Uh, yeah, that's pretty much close enough. But anyway, uh, this is for the Isaurian faction of Beyond the Gates of Antares 28mm sci-fi game by Warlord Games. Um, we're uh, going to put these together today, so let's open it up and take a look and see what's inside. Looks like we got a big base, no doubt for that. Small base for the spotter. And oh, a small base. All right, and we got two identical kits. Um, I'm using this uh, as part of small drone force. All right, different. Uh, what, what I love about that is the, the spotter drones are all varied. Uh, they're all different. Uh, this one's straight up. This one here is kind of bent over. So we got two separate kits. We're going to pull them both together. And my trash can needs a new bag. So a uh, real nice looking kit. Uh, let me show you here. All metal, of course. Heavy metal. <laughs> um, probably going to need something uh, pretty sturdy for the bottom so it doesn't knock over because it's probably going to be top heavy. Um, I typically will put some sort of washer there. Um, uh, probably not for this build. They're these are probably pretty sturdy enough for to hold these. If you, as long as you get them in the middle, they don't tip over on these. But uh, all right, well, uh, first thing I'm going to do is show you the tools I normally use to build these, uh, to build things, and uh, after that I'm going to put it together and I'll be back in a minute. All right, there you have it. There's two Isaurian Nahamic light support drones. Uh, I didn't really have any uh, any troubles putting them together. Uh, I would recommend putting them on the flight stand 
uh, if, if that's how you paint it, if you put it on the flight stand um, first, letting that dry completely before you put these implements on and put some glue in the back and in the hole uh, in the back of this, uh, this drone here before you glue it in. Um, always test fit. Um, I didn't do that on this one. You, you, sh you probably saw it in the video, uh, but you cut, there's some flash on these, these guns here and the bottom hole that you stick the, uh, the plasma light support in, um, you had to cut a little bit off of that, but no big deal. But other than that, there's really, there really was no issues. Uh, they're for the most part, three pieces, pretty easy kit. Um, but like I said, if you do put them on the flight, if you do uh, paint things on the flight stands, like I do, um, I'd recommend putting the big piece on there first before you go and gluing it all together. It makes things a little bit easier. Um, but yeah, uh, as of course, spotter drones, same thing. <laughs> They're pretty easy. Just a little bit of glue, a little bit of dry time and, uh, and you got them. So, uh, that's it. I'm looking forward to, uh, painting these up and putting them on the table. Uh, thanks for, uh, joining me in this, uh, this build video. I really appreciate it. Uh, there'll be some still shots of these guys uh, at the end. Uh, get a little bit of closer look, so stay tuned for that. If you haven't subscribed, please do. Please tell a friend. Please spread the word for me. I'd really appreciate it. And last but not least, from me to you, ta-ta, and we'll catch you in the next video.